Let's go. Stage 14 boss for the Faction Wars Undead Crypts. Let's get into it. This boss is crazy. It's, it's the same boss that I just fought at 14 for the Sacred Order. And here we go. It's not going to be an easy fight. And really, I shouldn't have won it. So the way there, it's not too crazy. I think, I think the battle to get there isn't too bad. And it won't be too bad for a lot of people. We can do provoke. We can do stuns. We can do things to get there. Of course, if we don't have... You know, Undead do have a, a decent amount of heals, a decent amount of support. So I think we'll be able to get through there without having to go all lifesteal gear. Of course, it's always the way to go with everything. Lifesteal gear, unfortunately, is just the way to go. Look at all the provokes I got. Provoke, 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 provoke. So might have been one from... I wasn't just paying attention to, from our boy Seeker here, but we did get a lot from seducer because i have provoke gear on him doing the aoe provokes now of course we have bad ellen here as i said before giving us all the heals keeping my people alive the only way i'm able to do this is because bad l is here i have no doubt about that I'm not, I'm not trying to trick you guys 14 is hard 14 is very hard the bosses are hard they're they're not they're not friendly at all so i don't know 14 will give us stage after the ball stage 15 will give us three to five star gear right three to five star three to five star glyphs so i have to wait it takes too many keys so we'll have to see the next time this pops up what those are like now as i said before it's not a ball stage so i don't think i think from then on i think from 15 to 20 because 21 is the next boss you know we're gonna face some really hard stuff but i think we're gonna be able to kind of cheese it out get some artifacts in here to stun people up to provoke people to take control of it or bring in champions that just because each wave you know it's three waves we're not going to have to face a boss so we can if we have somebody that can come in if we have somebody that has like an aoe provoke on their on their main without having to worry about artifacts if we have somebody that can do an aoe freeze anything like that to just control the wave right away beat it up make it through it we'll be able to get three to five star or three to six star glyphs or four to six star glyphs soon, right? Depending on how far up we can make it. So we'll see. We'll have to wait till it, these pop, till this pops up again, until the sacred order pops up again. But I need to work on my sacred order because obviously, again, I have another heavy, heavy carry. These are the two of my heaviest carries. It's going to be undead with bad L, and this team right here. And I could easily take out. If I'm not worried about anybody dying, I could take out Gorgorab, and I could include somebody that does some really heavy DPS here. That's what I need to do which is either going to be Husk or Lich. I'm definitely going to bring Lich in, but probably Husk as well. So I don't know how I'm going to fit those in. I'm going to keep Bad L. I'm going to keep Seducer. I'm going to keep... I have to keep Dark Aethel because I need that 60% decrease defense. And I need... Well, I don't need it, but the slow speed is very nice. So, I mean, if I take out Seeker and I take out Gorgorab, I need to be bringing in Husk, which, which is fine. He does damage and control. He has that stun and he has the Provoke. So really, I'm not losing too much. I'm really not. And then I also bring in Lich. Lich is going to keep himself up. He's going to keep. He's going to deplete the turn meter on three turns to cool down, and he's going to do some work on the boss. So I think that would be the team. I think that's going to be my team. Dark Aethel. We're going to have Bad Elkazar. We're going to have Seducer. We're going to have Husk, and we're going to have Lich. And that will be, that'll be who I'll be able to get up to 20 with. I would, I hope. I hope as long as I have them really decked out. I don't have anybody. I don't think anybody in undead has a way to remove buffs except for gorgorab here on a skill one and i've seen a lot of buffs along the way so we'll see we're only on wave two it's taking a little bit of time <laughs> hey we're on 14 of crypts so it's gonna take time i apologize for that but it's gonna take time to get through here what can we do and these girls right here they are beefed up with heavy defense they try to they get my gorgorab down low and i'm trying to just finish off this last one here and it's taking forever anyways you can see this let's skip forward a little bit just a little bit all right let's go let's go let's go take these down okay we're at the boss so the boss does the aoe on the skill one has a chance to fear and then here it steals all my buffs gives me all its debuffs and then puts spread so really it just gives it, it takes my buffs any buffs on any of my people it takes all of them and then it whatever whatever debuffs are up on this boss it just gives it to everybody that's what that's basically what happens and then here's the transfer life so Whenever this guy gets down low, he's going to transfer life over. This boss, <laughs> at this stage of the game, is a pretty hard boss because if you bring in anybody, if you if you have buffs on your team, he's going to take it. 
it's on a three turn cooldown, so we just have to watch for that. And it gets pretty annoying. It, it is pretty annoying. I just needed some high DPS. So I'll be ready next time, and it won't be that big of a problem. Am I saying it's crazy hard? I mean, I got bad L, so I can't really judge it. <clears throat> Excuse me. If I came in here with somebody else besides bad L, yeah, I would think this is crazy, crazy hard. Okay? I would. I don't know. I don't know. I need to see some other people's stuff. I need to see somebody come in here and just blow it up without Netheril and without other people like that coming in here and doing things. I need to see somebody bring in Dark Aethel, Seducer, not Bad L, and a whole bunch of other people and let me know and let me see that they do work on this boss and tear it up. So anyways, these side champions, I thought I could provoke them, but you can't provoke them because all they do is one skill and it's an AoE skill and they're skill one, so it does no good. I tried to provoke, they attacked, <laughs> that's all they got. So this guy, no matter what, is going to do AoE provoke in the beginning. So in the beginning, you're going to be sitting there just forced to attack this guy until he's dead, which is kind of lame, but it's not that big of a deal because I got Bad L in here healing me, right? Forced to provoke. Okay, great. Boom, heal, heal, heal. So we take that guy down. Then this girl, all she's doing is an AoE lich. She's not doing any damage. The side guy wasn't doing any damage either. No problem. So now it's on a three-turn cooldown for him to transfer buffs. So we want to make sure all these are gone by the time he can do that. Otherwise, he's going to get crazy amount of heals. So I play around with that for a while, back and forth. This is the first time I fought him. Wanted to see what I could do against him. Wanted to try to play with the transfer damage, see when he would transfer damage, then how much time do I have left to DPS him down to win. And without a good DPSer, it takes a while. So I wasn't getting really far. It was going down, he would transfer, come back, three turn cooldown, I'd have to manual it and play around to make sure that I do my stuff for two turns, like my, my poison's on him, my my heal over time's on me, back and forth. I was dancing forever, and then let's, let's, let's jump forward on the rest of this. So I get him down, I get him down, I get him down. He'd steal some of my buffs. I had him up there longer than I wanted. I hit auto sometimes because I got bored, and I was like, let me just see what happens with auto. So <laughs> we're at 11 minutes already. And he took some of my he took some of my seducer buffs. On, I had it. On, I think I had it on auto. He took some of my seducer buffs, and you just get tired, man. You get tired of doing this fight. You're like, okay, look, this guy, whoever programmed and designed this dude, he has an AOE fear. So he's gonna AOE has a chance to AOE fear you, right? It's a slower, it's a lower chance, but he's gonna fear like two out of five of your guys every turn with this with this first skill one. So that means that they have a chance to you know whiff on their skill where they're not gonna do anything right here. Now I got three guys with it. So that's slow play, right? Even more slow play. And then on three turns, he's going to steal everything I got and give me everything that he has on all my people. And then at 15 turns or whatever it is, I think it's 15, 10 turns. We'll see in a minute. He's going to transfer HP. So it's a DPS race. It's a, you, hey, you got to you gotta manage your buffs and debuffs. And then you got to hope that you don't get this fear too often that your guys mess up and don't do their moves. You know, they get feared. Oh, I'm too scared to attack. And then they don't do the DPS we need to do to get him down in time before he transfers life again. So let's see if we skip forward. Okay, it's on a 12 turn. Okay, so it goes to a 12 turn cooldown. So here we go. He transferred with Seducer. He's back up to full. We're going through it. We're going through it. I'm very tired of this fight. Trust me. I'm just like, ugh. I could go down to stage 13 and just like try to auto stage 13 with the rest of my keys. So then I'm like, okay, let me try to take it serious one last time before I just call it a day and come back in here with some more DPS, right? Because then I get him down, slow speed. He does really good with slow speed. He gets really slow. Gives us time to get some things up, get some things working, and then gives us time to you know, take advantage of taking his health while he's on the 12-turn cooldown. But I don't have anybody in here doing some massive damage. So we're going to skip forward again, 14 minutes. <laughs> 14 minutes wow so slow speed is really good because then you get time also to mess around with your buffs and debuffs before he does the transfer and of course you're slowing it down so he doesn't do the transfer i mean transfer buffs not transfer life before he transfers the the, the buffs the debuffs and then also the transfer life of course so here we are at this point he was at three turn cooldown let's watch what he does so this is the end of the fight 15 minutes right believe me i was falling asleep on this fight so 15 minutes he's gonna be able to transfer health soon this one that's on a two turn cooldown but he doesn't do it so here he could transfer he did so he transferred he got my shield was up probably from a crit from him 
nothing I could do about that. So now I'm like, hmm. He's gonna he's gonna transfer HP is what I'm thinking. I can't block it. I try. I'm like, hey, let me just see if, if we can just block it. See what's going on. So right now he can transfer, and if he did, he'd bring one of my guys down low, and he'd be oh, <laughs> he'd be back up, he'd be back up to full health, right? Right at full health. So I'm just like, whatever. I'm just gonna start throwing stuff on him. Let's see what he does at his turn. So he doesn't do it. He does his skill one, and then I'm I'm going again, again. He doesn't do it. He does the skill one. So he didn't do it. <laughs> like, it's off cooldown. So I don't know. I don't know if they program it to where if he gets really low enough, he won't do it. Because then it would be too crazy. But I'm sure they'll fix that. Because he should. He should do it. You know, it's off cooldown. He should do it. So that's how I won. Boo boo, bada bing. We won that way. <laughs> so, of course, if I had my husk over here in the fifth slot doing some serious damage, we'd be good to go. I did get a four star other I got two other four star glyphs today, flat attack or something like that. But that was it. Look at that long, long, long battle. So now I try to go to the next one, 15, because I don't want to ever go back to 14. <laughs> There's no reason to. 14, I only get what? I only get uh three to five star. Okay, alright, let's jump forward to this. So four pause. So 14, I only get two to five star. And now at 15, we'll be able to get three to five star, and we don't have to worry about a boss. So we will see what happens with that. That is the undead faction horde where we're at today, where I'm at today. I don't know if anybody's been further. I don't think so. I think they would be at the same the same point I'm at. So I need I have two keys. I need four to do the next one. So the next time it pops up, we will check it out and see what's going on. Thank you all so much. So thank you all so much for watching. Thank you for the support, and I will see you all on the next video.